Hello guys, what's up? This is Women's Kit Tech. Actually, this is Women's Kit Talking to you right now. Today, I'll show you how to update your GURB Bitilda menu list. So, for example, if you're just installing a new OS on your laptop or your desktop or your PC in general, so and you want to boot to it from GURB boot menu if you already have it on your system. So the only way to do it, maybe the whole has does not boot up automatically or does not have its own boot to that installed, something like Chrome OS. So if you're doing booting Chrome OS with any other OS, for example, Linux, any Linux distribution like Ubuntu, the one I'm having right now with your Chrome OS. So you want to update your GURB boot menu to have the Chrome OS bootable on it. So right now my system, I already have Chrome Linux and Windows Boot Manager, the Windows, I have Windows on my system too. So the way to do it, first thing is to open the terminal, terminal, so press Ctrl Alt plus T, or if you can't find it, so you can just come here, then you type your terminal, so same thing, Rayla. So now you come here, so First thing everybody knows, the, I'm sure everybody knows this, sudo, but not everybody knows this actually. So sudo, then somebody might be thinking it's apt get or something, but right now we are just updating. This doesn't require a data connection, it's not updating from the net, just updating by looking at your files, EFI partition, your bootable partition, in fact, so that contains all the files. So and it scans your hard disk for any bootable operating systems, mm. any operating system. So it's sudo space then update then an hyphen grub. You don't need to type grub bootloader slash whatever version you are using. So you press enter. So it asks for your password. Then you type in your password. It doesn't show that you're typing the password. Maybe for some securities, but I don't know. But you have to type it correctly. If you don't type it correctly, it's going to tell you that password is incorrect. So you press enter. So generating the GRB configuration file is going to load another file by updating the previous one. It's going to update the previous one. So right there it shows me this this one all is for my Linux boot that but this one found Windows boot partition, Windows boot manager. So uh, right now so this is the unknown you unknown Linux distribution on the dev SDA5, D E V S D A five. That's where I've installed my Chrome OS. So adding boot menu entry to for EFI firmware configuration. Done. That's it. Full stop. So that's how to update your GURB list. You doesn't need any correction, just do it manually yourself. But if it's not doing then you can open the configuration file yourself, then put it into input it into it yourself manually. So thanks for watching. If this video is very helpful for you guys, then don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.